Our military hero of the month is Air Force Sergeant Les Weaver. Les will tell you that he joined the Air Force in order not to be drafted into the Army. That way he could better pick his choice of assignments during the latter part of the Vietnam War. I was not a pilot. I was just one of the, one of the hired hands on the ground, from the ground crew. And, but I did my basic training in Lackland, of course, in San Antonio. Then I got accepted in the electronics field. And I went to Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi. When you look at a photo like this, you'll realize that the people who serve on the front lines are very young. Yet, the Air Force, in this case, was able to train this group into some crucial missions. I worked on the, the I guess you call it the defensive system. I worked on the radar jammers. And we had two jammers on the U-2, which one was for SAMs and the other was from air-to-air -air missiles. See, I had to have a secret clearance even to work on it, especially the equipment. Yeah. It was classified. And the jammer unit for the SAMs on the sides of the uh, uh, unit, yeah. it had mercury fulminate card in it with plastic. Yet the pilot had gotten, he would flip the switch and it would blow all the elect uh, electronic components off the bo circuit boards. Now retired, Les is a member of the Vietnam Veterans Association. The group gets together often for breakfast, and you can imagine the stories. We have breakfast now every, every Thursday morning together. I mean, like I said, we tell a few war stories and a whole bunch of lies. Just camaraderie, I mean, you know. Yeah. We all basically had the same experiences. We have like our president right now, he was on the, I forget which aircraft carrier, that received all the people from Saigon when it fell. Ooh. And we have one other guy was flying some of the helicopters. Yeah. One of the helicopters took the last people out of Saigon out to the sea. Yeah. Last year, the group agreed to acquire a UH-1, the Huey helicopter that was so crucial to the lives of the ground forces in Vietnam. Well, Ernest Montes, which, Matt, he uh, started working on it about almost a year ago now. He wanted a helicopter for out our, our little memorial at Patriot Park, where, you know, so, I mean, he'd been beating the bushes and stuff, trying to find, you know, somebody to help finance it and... One day at the house, I just had a wild idea. I said, why don't I do, you know, fight, you know, buy the helicopter? And just for the heck of it, I phoned my CPA just to see what kind of, I asked him, you know, would any kind of tax break? He said, he also told me, he said, you were going to do this anyway, weren't you? And I said, probably. <laughs> <laughs> the stock, let's put it here, the stock market's been kind to me. How kind was it? Enough to pay $40,000 for a helicopter. <laughs> In this video, you see the helicopter as it motored into Victoria a few months ago. There is still some fundraising going on, so if you want to be part of putting up this monument, contact the Vietnam Veterans Association. I want to congratulate Mr. Les Weaver for his contribution, financial and otherwise, to the helicopter project for the crossroads. So thank you, Les, and congratulations. Appreciate it. Thank you, sir. If you know a veteran and would like to nominate him for a Hero of the Month, Go to crossroadstoday.com slash militaryheroes and tell us about it. I'm Aclovio Perez, 25 News Now.